Hello everybody and welcome to part 5, no 6, 6 of the Viking ship build. Uh, there was, this was supposed to be part 5 but uh, I received a bunch of, of questions on the sale so I pulled that one forward a bit so I could explain to the people that are also building the ship how I did the sale. <laughs> Also, I had a bunch of questions on how I did the painting of my shields. Um, yeah, being modeling for, well, I don't know, a couple of years now again, uh, when I return to the hobby, you take certain things for granted, like painting stuff and using primers and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. I might just have to explain things a little bit. Let me get a glove. Because I don't want the oily stuff from my skin on those shields. Because I've already cleaned them. Now yeah, let's get one. Um, that that's bare metal. Uh, I use acrylic paints, uh, usually Vallejo paints, because I like them. And they tend not to stick to bare plastic or bare metal that well. Um, chemistry. Uh, so, um, there needs to be a layer between this stuff and the actual paint. Uh, that's a primer. Uh, before we start priming, uh, you have to clean all the parts uh, because you've handled them. There may, might be a release agent on there from the mold, uh, stuff like that. So I usually <laughs> clean them with alcohol, 70% uh, solution, very flammable. So don't use it near fire. And I'll just show you. And I get a cotton bud and a little bit of just a moist cotton bud. Not, doesn't need to drip off there. So all you do is wipe it down and leave it to dry. And then don't touch it with your bare fingers again because you've cleaned it for not. Now primer. Get that away. Primer, primer. There's a whole bunch of different primers out there. And if you're just painting only these shields, I would probably recommend just getting a rattle can. Uh, like this stuff. Uh, except this is uh, Citadel, it's pretty expensive, so you might want to go to your local DIY shop and get some of that uh, car paint primer. Uh, make sure it's suitable for metal and use that. Now, the metal can primers should only be used outside not indoors never ever I don't care don't do it uh, this is compressed death as you can see there's warning signs on there it's even saying solvent abuse can kill instantly you don't want this stuff in your lungs so you want to do this outdoors also spraying any kind of paint <laughs> use this it's a respirator it has filters on there that actually catch any vapor so you won't die that's probably what we're all after having fun not dying um yeah you can spray them you can also brush on some uh, some primer I've been using uh, Vallejo Surface Primer for the last three years, I think. Um, check this stuff in my airbrush and 
spray the primer on with my airbrush um, again if you're just doing only these shields don't go out and buy an expensive airbrush uh, you don't need it you also don't need a big bottle like this I know Vallejo does smaller bottles of surface primer and this is way more than you'll ever use on those shields and these are just dripper bottles so you can just after you shake them up really really good I uh, use a bit of scrap plastic and drip some on and use a brush which I am going to do in this video I'm gonna brush paint because I realize not everybody has an expensive airbrush and I can't film rattle can action outside because I don't have a mount for my camera and we have horrible horrible weather so <coughs> I don't want to do that <coughs> now this one has dried uh, you need to shake this stuff really 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 good uh, I already did but I can see there's still no it's actually just like shake it uh, you might hear that rattling in there I dropped in some agitator glass balls to help shaking it uh, normally it's not in these bottles but that's no problem so um, yeah get my plastic just put it there and zoom in so we can see what we're doing so I've got my shield I've got a, a brush uh, it's a umbral brush from the hobby store size zero that's not really important um, do, 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 do I have yeah you can buy those really cheap brushes like these which are horrible don't use them uh, they don't go well with this stuff this is more for I use this for weathering but uh, you know you just get a cheaper brush uh, maybe like this one uh, I got a whole pack of these for about two euros in the local discount shop so you don't need to spend a lot of money on brushes if you're just gonna paint those things right so <coughs> primer uh, this is uh, acrylic as well so this sh this isn't toxic don't drink it just yeah be careful with the stuff get a little drop on my thing there and check if my brush is dry yes um just a little bit on there and yeah I'm touching it with my bare hands I'm right handed <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the uh, with the grain that's in there uh, because I want the primer to be in there and I'm using a dark primer because I want the uh, it's called pre-shading but it's not really pre-shading uh, the darker the base layer the darker your actual paint will come out so if you want a really bright color uh, you should probably go with a white or a light gray primer I want this to be a little bit dark also um, when we will be painting the wood color on there don't grab it in the primer and this will help create some of the shadow so a very very light color to start off with uh, may seem useless but you'll get the best result that way
I think that. Right, so that's the first layer. Uh, you see all the brush marks. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that because they go in the direction of the grain of the wood. So we get some natural variation in the color. Uh, and when there's a second layer on there, uh, most of the brush strokes will be gone. Alright, let's get that out of the way. Um, I've already prepared another one. Smart of me, I did prepare something for a change. Mm. Yes. <sighs> so, right, <clears throat> get a sip of tea. Which is actually too hot to drink, but yeah, never mind. No, I did have my wood color, which is saddle brown. Uh, Vallejo again. I like Vallejo paints. <clears throat> um, you don't need to use Vallejo. Uh, I've used for this blue color. I've used Formula P3. Uh, it's a war game paint. Uh, they usually carry more bright colors than, let's say, Vallejo. Mm. Normally I build military aircraft. So most of my colors are dark green and gray and stuff like that, so... But I had some of this stuff for... Uh, let's, get, let's get him out of, here, out of there. They're used for things like this, you know, the war game. Well, actually I painted that with the Citadel paints, which is a different brand, same paint. This got a little bit more pigment than mm, Citadel. So, <coughs> yeah. Put him back where he belongs. I did that many years ago when I stopped building aircraft and got bored. And my friends did those Warhammer things, so I started painting those just for fun. Sidetrack, yeah. So anyway, yeah, there's loads of paints you can, can get. Uh, there's Tamiya, that's also acrylic. Let me get a bottle. Look like these. Um, I think they're alcohol based. Uh, it says water soluble, but it's flammable. So I believe there's alcohol in there and you need a special then how to clean out your brush and um, there's all, all sorts of, of paints um, if you can go with acrylic you can use water to clean out your brush and to thin your paint and um, with other paints like animals you'll need uh, turpentine and all sorts of stinky smelly stuff to clean out your brushes so I'm giving this a good shake there. So I got saddle brown. I don't have any wood colors at the moment. So I just randomly picked a brown, brown color. It's not very dark. It should be okay. So again, just a drop, and the drop goes a long way. In this case, I want my brush to be a little bit moist, not wet, not dripping wet, but just a little bit. Does it show? Oh no, probably not. Uh, so I can thin this paint just a little bit, so it will flow a little bit better. So, <clears throat> again, light layers, very light layers. Just brush it on carefully. Um, again, I'm going with the grain because if I get a brush mark, it might look as if it's the grain of the wood instead of a brush mark. So 
so you can paint like that but if you finish off like this in this direction you could just mm, damn it <laughs> yeah I touched it with my bare finger but should be okay. So just a little bit more. First layer. Trying to see. Yeah, that should do it. So I'll leave that to dry for uh, about an hour, I think, and then I'll do a second layer. So this one has been drying. So this one's ready for the second layer. Again I have a moist brush because of the paint flowing. Most of the brush marks are gone now with the second layer, so should be okay. Also, if you keep doing thin layers, uh, you get to keep the actual uh, wood pattern that came with the mold. <laughs> there. Let's try and turn this with a screwing up this time a bit dry brush So there we go, I think. Yeah, this should be alright. Blend that in a little bit better. Like that. Right. That's it. Um, I did that on on this side in the same way, and just uh, primed everything, and then I did a base layer with the lightest color, and then went over it with the darkest color. So work from light to dark. Um, well, this one I didn't mask off. Uh, these. <coughs> These I did get a better contrasting one. These I did mask off uh, with some Tamiya tape. Get some off, which is <laughs> full of fluff. Um, so yeah. Tape it on my cutting mat first, and then well, I used a bit bigger one for these, but yeah, cut out the shape you want to mask off, uh, stick it on there, and then paint the rest. Before I masked it off, I did a 
gloss varnish on there to protect the paint and left that to dry for 24 hours. This one, as you can see it's still a bit shiny. Shiny, shiny. Just a light a bit. No? Okay. So, I did a wash. Uh, model wash. Um, this one, I did a Starship filled gunk wash. Now, there isn't a lot of difference between these two, but then I took one of the uh, Pokeballs <laughs> and it doesn't really show on camera. Maybe if I take an unpainted one next to it, right there. Mm. Doesn't really show in the light. Maybe zoom in a bit. <laughs> Zoomy. Focus. Mm. There we go. So this is not as white anymore. And that red has been toned down. So I like the Starship filter on here. So how do we do that? Well, Starship filth is oil paint. You may or may not know of this. If you know of this, uh, you probably also know it's the most sought after oil paint in the history of mankind. And they no longer make it. Uh, the make Fiber to Abteilung. I've been told they make a very similar color now. Uh, I believe it's called smoke. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, which basically does the same thing. Now let me get these out of the way. And stick uh, some shields on on here. Let's take a few colors. Uh, this should do it. Mm, actually, I did the red, so I'll go with the orange there we go <coughs> don't stick to my newspaper um, oil paint use gloves um, it takes a very long time to dry uh, you don't want it all over your fingers and eventually all over your house your bed I don't know what else so gun washing is very simple you take some oil paint straight from the tube and you just smear it in there like that just go crazy you know get it in every little groove there and now everybody who doesn't know gun washing is going oh no it's ruined it well no nope. because we're gonna take this off again So I'll just do all three of the shields. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And you can use any color you like, of course. I, I mean, I like the Starship filth uh, because it's. I don't know, a greyish brownish color. It's a filthy color. Uh, I want my shields to look filthy. Like they've been outside for some time and uh, been on the side of that ship for some time. Uh, you know, they've been dropped and been to battle and so. And they probably wouldn't have washed the shields down after every journey or, or battle. They might have taken off some blood, I don't know, wasn't there. 
but in my mind this works. So now you will need a cloth of some description. Uh, this is part of an old t-shirt. Um, it has been used a few times, so now we gently rub it off. Um, I'm going so the grooves are going vertical, so I'm going uh, like that, so the, the paint will stay in the in the grooves. Um, now this doesn't look really really nice. So with a cotton bud. Oh, this newspaper is really screwing up the balance. So now we can uh, do some more detail uh, or precision, maybe a better word. Uh, cleaning. Like that. a bit like that so this has toned down the paint really really well uh, oil paint takes about a week to dry maybe even longer but yeah you have some time for corrections if you don't like it and if you really don't like it you can always use uh, what's it called? White Spirit it's a big, big bottle of White Spirit um, I got the odorless well less it doesn't smell as bad as the uh, as the normal White Spirit you can get in the stores but you can use that and completely take it off again so you can experiment with it as long as you make sure you got a decent gloss coat on, underneath it uh, you can use a matte coat but then it's going to be a lot more difficult to clean up the, uh, the excess you don't want to have because obviously matte is a rough surface on a microscopic scale and gloss is less rough. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Put that to the side. And now the final one. Get my finger in there. Some rubbing actions. That doesn't work. Bud. There we go. All right. a few more of those to go so that's it for this episode thanks very very much for watching again and I hope to see you in the next video I'm working on staining the ship uh, not much to tell or film about this so I'll try and get this done as soon as possible so we can continue with the last stages of building this ship um yeah i uh, hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video bye take care
Starship Filth.